Hey, I'm Mark. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a 12 volt battery bank to the solar panels and an inverter. I've got two large 12 volt batteries. Uh, they're used. They're less than a year old. I only paid $50 each from them from a, a local battery dealer. Uh, he gave me a good deal on them. And we're going to be powering an Ames 5000 watt inverter. It's a modified you noticed I mounted it at an angle. I found that if you mount it at an angle that birds and squirrels and mice they don't want to build a nest on it and uh, also I've added some screen wire to it because of spiders and stuff will crawl inside the thing. It makes a slight little humming noise and uh, it seems to attract bugs for some reason and my charge controller is a Coleman Air. It has these little lights that blink. Depending on how many times it blinks is the charge level of your battery. And again, I mounted it at an angle so nothing would build a nest or anything on it. I got this out in my barn. This is the positive wire coming in from my solar array. It's only about 300 watts. It will hook in to the far left terminal here and the negative will go straight to the battery and then another negative will run over to this terminal and then a positive comes out of here over to the positive side and uh, you have to add this little jumper wire when you're doing this system um, don't freak out about not following along because when you buy the uh, inverter and you buy the charge controller it will have its wire and schematics it's pretty simple to do now I got two 12 volt batteries so I want to wire these in parallel and not in series so we're going to take a jumper wire and we're going to run from positive here to positive over here and then from positive here we'll go to the charge controller and up to the positive on the inverter. It's pretty simple. If it was a 24 volt system then you would go from positive to negative and then from positive uh, up to the charge controller and, it, and it's wired in series and makes it a 24 volt system. This is a simple 12 volt system. Um, I'm just going to be running a drill press. Uh, I've got several drill presses and, and a saw. I only use them an hour or two, uh, two or three times a week so I don't need a whole lot of power and uh, I'll never be running more than one at a time either. So. Let me get it all hooked up and I'll show you the finished product. Well, this is the manual that comes with the Coleman Air. It has def several different <clears throat> ways to wire it. If you have a windmill, you have to have what's called a dump load so that the windmill always has a load on it. The windmill will hook directly to the batteries. Now, this is showing a 24 volt system, but you can wire it the same for 12. And a windmill or a hydro system always has to have a load on it so. Uh, when the batteries are charged it goes into a diversion load. What I'm going to be hooking up today <clears throat> is just your simple solar panel system. Your positive wire will come over to the far left terminal. It goes through the system through a relay and then over to the battery. And the negative goes straight to the battery and then back to the charge controller. When the batteries are full the uh, it basically just disconnects. There's no harm in disconnecting solar as opposed to wind and hydro. I do have a wind and hydro uh, a hydro system and that works on this same system. It's several it's more than five years old and I hadn't had any trouble with it. And you can also hook it up dual for both wind and show you the schematics here. And on the inverter, we're using an Ames, and it's a 5,000 watt inverter. It's a modified sine wave. I've been real pleased with it. It's, it's done its job for me. I got everything wired up. Red's positive, positive side of the battery, negative, over to negative to the other side of the this battery again it's wired parallel and then negative up to the negative side of the inverter 
and the charge controller. See the wires hooked in. I've got the jumper wire, as the instructions say, and the little lights blinking. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's four, and four blinks is about sixty percent. So they need to be charged. It's actually storming outside right now. I would take you see the other array. I've got several arrays. One of them is just a single panel that runs my chicken coop. And then this one's about 300 watts. And I got a large one that runs with a hydro system. I've got other YouTubes showing it. I'm simply going to take the extension cord just for now. Plug it into the inverter. Turn it on. See the cord running. We'll come over here to my drill press and turn on the light. Works. Sounds good. Like I said, I'll be I've got several drill presses and uh, I never use more than one at a time and I'm also gonna be using a, several saws, so I only use a few hours a week. And the light is still blinking. So, batteries need charging. It's under a load right now. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.